Give me the latest. I know you've been writing about this for the past few days. Give me the numbers. Despite the, the ethical questions about the dark horse candidate and secret deals, is Jason Kenney still on track to win this thing? Yes. Yes, he is. And, and I don't know uh, if, if the, the polling has changed much. There's only been one poll since this dark horse kamikaze controversy uh, began involving Kenny. And that shows, uh, that poll showed not a, a, a whit of change. Yeah. Uh, the the UCP were still more than 20 points ahead, uh, but for me, it's not necessarily the poll. It's if you look at different regions of the province, I simply do not see mm -hmm. how the NDP can possibly win. Yeah. The the NDP won last time because, uh, among other things, they won 15 of 24 seats in Calgary. Now that has never happened before. That the most they'd ever had in Calgary before was one, mm -hmm. uh, and there were sometimes as many as two or three Liberals as mm -hmm. well. But it had always been a Tory bedrock. Uh, last time, because a lot of voters want to get rid of the Tories, the NDP won 15 of 24 seats in Calgary. I don't expect them to win a single seat in Calgary this time. That yeah. is how detested yeah. they are in Calgary because of the damage they have done with their environmental regulations and their carbon tax and their higher corporate taxes. That's the damage they have done to the business community uh, and by extension to all the workers who work in oil in, in, in Calgary. Um, the only by-election we've seen in the last two years was the one that Jason Kenney ran in. And uh, the UCP won 71 to 16 for uh, the, the NDP. And I think you're going to see riding after riding after riding in Calgary, where that's that's the kind of breakdown that there is. People just cannot stand them. And if you can't win either Edmonton or Calgary and the rest of the province, you have to win one of the major cities and the rest of the province, yeah. you can't win a majority. Yeah. Well, so let's look out beyond Edmonton and Calgary and look at there's 38 ridings in the rest of the, of the province. Mm -hmm. The, the polling numbers for the NDP are even worse there. I mean, they've they've angered the agricultural community with yeah. what was called Bill Six, and I know you did an awful lot of of coverage of Bill Six. It was to basically um, make like union workplaces all the farms with farm laborers in the province, yeah. and it is so antithetical to the mentality of most. Uh, farm families that it created a huge controversy. So that's cut cut them off from the farm types. All the real work in oil and gas is done outside of Edmonton and Calgary, and uh, and that's put them off. So I don't see them winning more than, well, I don't see them winning any seats out of the 38, but say they win three or four, you now have, you need 44, the UCP wins 24 in Calgary, 23 in Calgary, and it wins 35 in the rest of the province. They've already got a majority. They don't even have to look at Edmonton. Well, let me ask you Edmonton about... Edmonton is not going to be monolithic for the NDP this time. Right. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.